Welcome back everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about the Game Boy Showdown 2023 which will be taking place for over a week in May and also why every single developer should be taking part in Game Jams. So just like last year, this uh, Game Jam is run by Tronimal which is that I would describe him as a Game Boy music producer who was also a game developer. And the whole idea of the of the game jam is that you make a Game Boy game in one week. So if you don't know, I make Game Boy games using GB Studio, and there's lots of videos on my channel that you can use to um, get your head around it. But basically, there'll be a theme that will be announced one hour before the game jam starts, and then you have the one week to design and develop a game, and then a week after that is um, people voting on the games. So uh, it's a community-based thing. And then the winner of those votes will receive some prizes. As it looks like there's all the way up to 10th place, we'll get stuff. Uh, it looks like the person in first place will receive a modified Game Boy Color, a GBX cart, and a 2 megabyte flash cartridge. Um, which is fantastic for anybody who doesn't have that and uh, wants to get into making Game Boy games. But now I want to talk about why game jamming is so incredibly important. Okay, so to begin, we're going to look at last year's Game Boy Showdown. As you can see, there's 40 entries and 800 ratings. Um, and if we look into the submissions, uh, you can see I, I played and voted on almost every single one. And here's mine. Now, although mine didn't come first in anything, came top 10 in just in only theme, um, I, w I, I did manage to uh, continue working on it afterwards and fix a few bugs. And now I'm kind of proud of... Uh, what this is, right? So the number one reason why you should be taking part in game jams is because you make a game from start to finish. If you've never done that before, if you've never actually put a game onto itch.io, for example, then you're missing out on a lot. There's a lot you can learn just by doing that. You, as a developer, you learn that your ideas are just ideas. They may not work in practice, right? You need to test your skills, really. And I also find that dedicating just a week or two days or however much you, you want to dedicate for the game jam, um, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of resetting. It resets your brain into thinking solely about game development. Point number two of why every game developer should participate in a game jam is because of deadline. For example, with this jam, there's one week and most games in this world don't ever see the light of day, right? They, they're they probably sitting on your hard drive right now. I have a few that aren't um, are probably ever going to be released, that aren't finished. Uh, but having this deadline means that you, you will cut anything that does not need uh, to be in the game. You'll think of ways of cutting corners because it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is submission, right? So if you really think about it, uh, is a game really a game if it isn't played? And the deadline is just a fantastic motivator to get it done, right? Um, obviously, the last point was making a game from start to finish, um, but you can do that in any time frame. Uh, having this deadline is that push. And I really hope that it will give you that um, sense of direction and and just get just stop thinking about you know the the insignificant details like like if you if you waste two days of this game jam thinking about what your character looks like instead of what the game plays like then you might end up with something that looks nice but it might not play as well as some other games right so um, the deadline will definitely help you to think critically about how you make games. So number three, which is um, very similar to the deadline, but more design based, is about condensing your goal. Um, obviously with the deadline, like I said, it will hopefully stop you procrastinating. But being able to take the theme idea, and hopefully this is, it will be a fresh game idea from this. If you, if you end up thinking about a game that you've always wanted to make, um, then you may end up, you know, struggling or, or being annoyed that it doesn't come out the way you imagined in that one week. Um, but the, when, when they announce the theme, if it's, a, if it's something that gets your cogs turning, you know, in your brain and you start thinking outside the box, just like with this Clockmaker's Tale game, by condensing your goal, for example, I've said to myself, I want to make a story game about this Clockmaker. And as well, because of the, for example, this deadline only being a week long, um, your goal at the beginning, you'll easily be able to remember what your goal was at the beginning. So at the end, you can think back, reflect on what you 
thought about at the beginning of that week and say to yourself, did I achieve what I wanted to achieve? Let's say you're working on a game for two years. As, unless you wrote it down or made a video about it, it might be very difficult for you to remember exactly what your mindset was at the very beginning. And you could have easily achieved um, what you set out to do, but you may not have realized, right? So having the deadline being one week and condensing it um, and using the theme, it's a lot easier to think to yourself, did I succeed? And hopefully the answer will be yes. So for number four, I've written community and also the voting, right? Um, the reason why you as a developer should participate in game jams is because you get to play other people's games that were based on the same theme. You get to think about how they thought about the theme and hopefully that will inspire you to have different ideas as well. Um, and people will leave comments on your game and vote on your game and hopefully inspire your like the progression of this game that you've made. And hopefully you'll end up following your favorite games, your favorite creators, and maybe you might even message them and make friends with them, right? And maybe in the next game jam, you'll participate with them. So the the potential of from game jams is fantastic, right? If you work on your own a lot, which I tend to do, then you may find that working uh, for a game jam will let you talk to more people and you'll be able to share your ideas and you get to see other people's ideas that you may not get exposed to uh, very often. So yeah, being able to vote on other people's games and then vote on yours, leave comments, I think is an extremely valuable thing as why you should take part in a game jam. Uh, especially as a smaller game developer, building that community of people who want to play your game and test it and give you feedback is invaluable. And last but not least of why you should take part in game jams is the prizes. And I'm not talking about the first place prizes or anything. I'm talking about the fact that at the very end, if you've played your cards right, you have a game with your name on it that you can then sell, you can share, you can make better, you can do anything you want with it. You basically have a product with your name on it, or hopefully you have a piece of art, you know, that you don't have to make a game, I guess, you could make a piece of art. It's a reflection of yourself, maybe. Or at least, if you even if you didn't finish making the game, you have a story, you have something you can talk about, you have a week of taking part in something with other people, right? I think is the best part, right? I think that being able to, you know, vote on other people's games, and if you don't submit, you obviously can't vote, but you can still play other people's games and you can think about what they did differently than you. But yeah, the ultimate prize of a game jam is having a game at the end. As a game developer, we, I want to make games and I'm sure you do as well. So you should definitely take part in a game jam. Just for all these reasons, right? You get to make a game from start to finish. You get, a, you have a deadline. So you have something to aim towards. You have to condense your ideas and you have all these people around you that are doing exactly the same thing. And in the very end, you have a game. So you definitely should take part in a game jam. And I, if you're gonna make Game Boy games, you should definitely take part in this Game Boy Showdown, which is on in two months. So remember to go onto itch. There'll be a link in the description and you can join the game jam. I already have. Where it says how many days left, there'll be a button here that says join. As you can see, I've already pressed join, so it says leave. Um, so you should definitely join it as well. If you want a free and easy way to make Game Boy games, there's GB Studio, and there's also a few other Game Boy engines um, that aren't as easy as this, but this is drag and drop. So if you're a beginner, then this might be the easiest way you can get started. We have a few videos on my channel. They might be a bit out of date now um, because we're on GB Studio free, um, but it will definitely give you a head start um, if you read the docs, if you look up the top, it says um, docs, that means documentation. Um, and then you can uh, learn a lot about how it works and uh, how you can make your own game. So, so with that being said, I'll put my patrons up on the screen right now. Thank you so much to you guys. You guys are the absolute best. Remember to like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you're going to join the Game Boy Showdown 2023. Um, what you thought of this video in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye